Alright, so I recently read this article about this journalist who went undercover in a far-right-wing uh, UK movement. I believe it's called the Patriotic Alternative. Here, I'll pop in a quick video. A masked group confronts them. Oh, no, 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 no. And no, they no, no, also no. go for Elliot. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not, I'm not. Look, oh, listen, listen. I'm under the cover journalist. I'm under the cover journalist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. I'm being serious. He follows our protocols and heads to a nearby backup car. Yeah, I've been attacked. Some guys with masks on. Three of them. Yeah, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. PA blame the attack on far left anti fascists. So, so there's definitely a lot of irony uh, to be had here. Uh, this leftist undercover journalist getting attacked by Antifa. There's a lot of irony there. But they didn't know he was an undercover journalist, leftist. In their mindset, anyone who's talking about Britain for Britons. They must be racist. Even though the left says they care so much about diversity, even though mass immigration is going to destroy the native diversity of Britain and Western Europe as a whole. Now here's some really delicious and funny irony. The left is cheering on Ukraine and its forces. Yet this one guy, he, in this picture, he's wearing an Azov Battalion t-shirt. And because of that, they're crying Nazi, racist, saying that the Azov Battalion is a neo-Nazi battalion. But wait, the Azov Battalion is fighting for the Ukrainians in Ukraine against the Russians. So, wait, the Ukrainians have neo-Nazis. So isn't that a bad thing? In that we, the West, are giving Ukraine billions and billions of dollars and boatloads of weapons that'll probably end up in the hands of the Azov Battalion, which in this very article they say are neo-Nazis. So, I don't know, am I the only one who sees something wrong with that picture? Now, in my opinion, do I think this patriotic alternative do I think it's a racist organization? Well, I'd really hope not, because I don't believe one race is superior to another. So if they are, they wouldn't have my support. And I believe a lot of people in Europe, they're not actually racist, they just don't want to be replaced. They don't want their culture and their ethnicity to be destroyed with all this uh, mass immigration that the politicians are pushing. So I'll have to look into this uh, patriotic alternative. Because before this uh, article and video, I never heard of them before. So I'll have to give it a read. I only made this video because of the irony of a leftist journalist being attacked by Antifa. Anyway, that's it for my rambling. Take care.